second. Operation of the Purdue Fort Wayne Athletic Department, the Purdue Fort Wayne Sports Information Department, our good friends at Learfield IMG College, and our good friends at YouTube. Welcome to continuing coverage of Purdue Fort Wayne women's volleyball. Tonight, the Mastodons at home for the only time in the month of October as they get ready to take on the Golden Eagles from Oral Roberts University. And with that, we say good evening to one and all. I'm Mike Moss, courtside here at Arnie Ball Court, inside the Hilliard Gate Sports Center on the campus of Purdue Fort Wayne University. And uh, a 25th matchup all time between these two schools is set to go in just a few moments. The Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons coming off a one and one road trip in North Dakota last weekend find themselves in second place in the Summit League standings with a conference record of three and one. They are nine and nine overall. And for ORU, they had a successful weekend last weekend as they won not once, but twice, beating uh, the University of Nebraska Omaha in five sets. And they knocked off South Dakota State in four sets. They are two and two in conference play. And those two wins last weekend, that snapped a nine-match losing streak. And uh, four and ten in non-conference play. And two and two in conference play. And for 17th year head coach, Shira Sharola, had a chance to speak with her a little while ago. She was most happy about her team's play last weekend. And she, like all coaches, hates to have a losing streak. And, and uh, for hers, it was a nine-match losing streak. On the other side of the coin, Purdue Fort Wayne is playing some of their best volleyball of the season. We mentioned they were one and one last weekend in North Dakota. They lost to North Dakota State in straight sets last Friday night, but they came back and uh, they won at North Dakota Sunday. They won six of their last seven matches, including a win over the uh, preseason favorite to win the Summit League, the Denver Pioneers. And they are led by the junior from Leo, Indiana, Katie Crow. Katie leads the Summit League with just over three kills per set. Overall, she has 226 kills this year for the Mastodons. And for Sydney Borst, the senior out of Sylvania, Ohio, she is in the top 10 in career uh, blocks and hitting percentage and uh, being a veteran senior she's showing some leadership which what the Macedons really need you're getting a look now at the uh, all Roberts bench and uh, we mentioned uh, their head coach Shira Sharola this is her 17th year and with the win last Sunday over South Dakota State, she became the winningest coach in Summit League women's volleyball history. Her record in the Summit League, 246 wins and 202 defeats. And that doesn't count a couple of years when the uh, Golden Eagles were in the Southland Conference. So congratulations to Shira Sharola, who is a former Golden Eagle player. And... Uh, We'll see how the teams fare here tonight. 
we talked about uh, Katie Crow. Let's talk a little bit about her counterpart, C.C. Madison. C.C. Madison is a 5'10 senior from Midlothian, Texas, and she is the Offensive Player of the Week in the Summit League, and she leads ORU just under four kills per set. Well, that'll do it. We will take a brief break. When we come back, starting lineups and the opening serve, it is Oral Roberts University taking on Purdue Fort Wayne University Summer League Women's Volleyball. And we'll be back in a moment here on YouTube. In its fourth decade, the Summit League continues its ascent through excellence in the classroom and success in the field of play. In cities big and small, at public and private universities, more than 120,000 students across nine institutions reach for the Summit. From academic All-Americans to NCAA champions and nationally ranked teams, Summit League student-athletes achieve the pinnacle of success. The Summit League, where tomorrow's leaders reach the Summit today. When the City Council is considering what to do with a vacant lot on your block, or your neighbors are raising money for a new playground, who brings you that story? We do. From swing votes to swing sets, your stories are our stories. Trust the Journal Gazette. For home delivery, call 461-8519. Available at newsstands everywhere. A cardio risk heart scan is a painless, non-invasive test that can allow for early detection and intervention of coronary artery disease. It's simple, takes about 30 minutes, and costs just $50. Don't wait. Schedule today at one of seven convenient Lutheran Health Network locations. No referral necessary. To learn more and determine your eligibility, visit lutheranhealth.net slash cardio risk. That's life, powered by Lutheran. Well, welcome back, everybody, to Arnie Ball Court. Uh, time now to bring you tonight's starting lineups for the visiting uh, Golden Eagles of Oral Roberts University. Two and two in Summit League play, six and 12 overall. The setter is Sylvia Lawson, a 5'11 redshirt freshman from Joplin, Missouri. On the outside, Inka Inkret, a 5'11 sophomore from Ivanets, Croatia. On the right side will be Laura Schupman, a 6'2 freshman from Salem, Wisconsin. On the outside, Taylor Nero, a 5'11 senior from Tulsa, Oklahoma. In the middle, Bree Greenlee, a 6'1 senior from Knoxville, Tennessee. Defensive specialist and the reigning defensive player in the week in the Summit League is Sarah Thiessen, a 5'5 redshirt sophomore from Tulsa, Oklahoma. And on the outside, C.C. Madison, the 5'10 senior from Midlothian, Texas, leading the uh, team in kills with 263. The head coach in her 17th year at ORU is Shira Sorolla. Overall, 285 and 224, and again, 246 and 202 in Summit League play, the 246 wins the most of any coach in Summit League history. She is assisted by Frank Craig, Brian Magitang, Magitang, excuse me, and Lucia Boyanich, with Mackenzie Fife, a volunteer assistant, and the athletic trainer is Lexi Gann. Now the starting lineup for the home team on the scoreboard, the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons, three and one in Summit League play, nine and nine overall. The libero is Rachel Crucis, a 5'2 freshman from Brunswick, Ohio. The setter is Maddie Gates, a 5'9 sophomore from Grand Rapids, Michigan. 
The opposite is Liz First, a six-foot senior from Arlington Heights, Illinois. Did not play in the two matches in North Dakota last weekend, but she's in the starting lineup tonight. On the outside, Katie Crow, a 5'10 junior from Leo, Indiana, leads Purdue-Fort Wayne in kills with 226, that's just over three kills per set. Also has a team high 22 service aces. In the middle, Zandra Huvels, a six foot senior from Rhine, Germany. On the outside, Sydney Schiller, a six foot freshman from Battle Creek, Michigan. And in the middle, Sydney Borst, a six foot junior from Sylvania, Ohio. The head coach in his sixth year as the skipper here at Purdue Fort Wayne is Steve Florio, his record 72 and 105, assisted by Jasmine Fulov with Mitch Baumgartner, the graduate assistant coach. Our officials tonight, the up official is Eric Buman, and the down official is Dave Sines. Mastodons will be going from right to left in the first set. We will be wearing white jerseys. Black numbers trimmed in gold front and back. Purdue in gold across the front. Fort Wayne in black across the front. Black shorts with white numbers. The exception, Richard Cruz is libero wearing a black jersey with white numbers. And for ORU, they're uh, navy blue jerseys with white trim. White numbers front and back. ORU in white across the front. ORU won the toss, and they will serve first. Rally point scoring. It's a point scored on every serve. Play a 25, win by two, and sets one, two, three, and four. If you need to go to a fifth set, you play to 15, still win it by two. Sarah Thiessen with the opening serve of this match. And on the right side, nice dig by Gates off a uh, swing by Schuchman. And off the touch, Purdue Fort Wayne gets the first point of this match. And now Katie Crow, again the 5'10 junior from nearby Leo, Indiana to serve a team high 22 service aces and she commits a service error. So we are tied at one, just underway here in Fort Wayne. Now serving for ORU is Sylvia Lawson, again a 5'11 Redford shirt freshman out of uh, Joplin, Missouri, and she commits a service error. 2-1 Mastodons, and here is Rachel Cruces. The freshman libero, she serves deep into the backcourt. Oh, nice dig by Gates off a swing by Schuchman. Schiller mishits her swing, however, into the net. Point for Roberts, and we're tied at two. This is the 25th meeting between these two schools. ORU has won the last nine in succession, and they lead the series 17 wins to seven. CC Madison with a high serve. And the Dons can't get receive it or return it successfully. And uh, Golden Eagles have their first lead of the match at three to two. Madison from the left side. Serving at Schiller, overpass on the receive and the Purdue Fort Wayne gets a break on an attack error by uh, ORU. So we are tied 3-3 three, three, and coming off the bench to serve is Maddie Nell, a 5'9 freshman out of Haskins, Ohio. One of the three setters on this Mastodon squad. Oh, nice dig by Nell, but Maddie Worcester's first swing of the night, and it's dug out by Madison. Inca Inkrit goes backcourt. Katie Crow with the dig. Ball on the ORU side of the net, and a miss hit by Laura Schutman will give Purdue Fort Wayne the point and a 4 to 3 lead. It's only the seventh rally of the match, but it was the longest rally. And there is a service error. And we are tied at four. Serving for ORU is Taylor Nero. Again, a 5'11 senior from Booker T. Washington High School in Tulsa. Now trying to set up Boris. 
Rejected, and Maddie Worcester's return goes wide left. Back and forth we go in this opening set. Golden Eagles five, Mastodons four. Nero again serving, back middle baseline. Oh, pretty good serve. Defensive return by Purdue Fort Wayne and a little touch shot from Bree Greenlee. Extends the Golden Eagle League to two. It is now six to four. And by the way, we want to welcome those of you that are uh, watching this match on YouTube back in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area. Welcome to Fort Wayne, Indiana, and a service ace by Nero. And timeout called by Purdue Fort Wayne. As Purdue Fort Wayne was up four to three, but now they trail this set seven to four. So Steve Florio calls the first of his two allotted timeouts of the set. Try to get his team settled down just a little bit. Last Mastodon win came back on November the 2nd, 2014 in Tulsa. A straight set win on that particular day. Ever since then, it has been ORU. The two matches last year, the match here at Ernie Ball Court went four sets. The match back in Tulsa went five sets. In fact, in that match in Tulsa, Purdue Fort Wayne led two sets to one. And ORU came back to get the come from behind win. Right now, the Macedons are hitting a minus 143. That's one kill and seven swings with two attack errors. ORU hitting zero, one kill, six swings, and one attack error. Digs are even at three, total blocks are even at one. ORU has two service aces. And once again, it is Nero with the serve. And Maddie Worcester from the right, left side finally puts one down. Maddie is a 6'3 sophomore from Burn, Indiana. Always important to get that point after the timeout. The freshman Sidney Schiller now with the serve. Nice dig by Crucis. Katie Crow, Madison got an arm on it. Defensive return by Inkret. Free ball chance for Worcester, off the touch, and Madison got the dig. And off the touch, credit ORU with the point, Laura Schupman picking up her first kill of the night. Golden Eagles eight, Mastodons five, first set. Shootman to serve left to right. Serving at the libero cruces. Here is Worcester from the right side. Back out by Lawson. Inkret denied by Cruces. Crow over a double block and a double hit. Gonna be called on Bree Greenlee. So credit the Macedons with the point. They will serve now in the person of uh, Sidney Borst, trailing this first set eight to six. And Sidney serve hits the top of the tape and bends backward, that's a service error. Nine six, so are you. Inca Inkred, again a 5'11 sophomore from Croatia with the serve at Schiller. Maddie now setting up Crow. Is it long or is it touched? It is touched, point Purdue Fort Wayne. So it's a two point deficit, nine to seven. Maddie Gates, can a sophomore setter out of Grand Rapids, Michigan to serve. Just clears the net. And uh, nice attacking by Lawson, the setter. Successful. Point ORU. Now they are up 10 to 7. And uh, their libero, Sarah Thiessen, to serve. Gates right side for Crow. Wow. Dug out by Inkret. Madison denied by Liz first. 
on the right side. Net violation, I believe, on Purdue-Fort Wayne, so give ORU the point, and a four-point lead, 11-7. Gates, right side for Crow, off the touch. Katie Crow, by the way, coming into this match tonight, has eight double-doubles this year, 27 in her career. Last Sunday, she had 13 kills and 15 digs at North Dakota. She now serves. And the Dons get another point. They now trail the set 11 to 9. Katie serving from right to left. And she clips the top of the net for a service error. 12-9, our first set score. Oral Roberts on top. Sylvia Lawson, their 5-11 registered freshman setter. Serving from the right side. Serving at the libero Rachel Crucis. Liz first for the first time tonight on the cross corner swing. Picks up the kill. A two point deficit for the Mastodons. Trailing to set 12-10. Here's just a deep serve. Lawson setting up Madison and it's blocked. Schiller and Borscht combined for the block. And it's now 12 to 11. Here's just again with the serve. Madison off the touch. Clipped off the left arm of the freshman Sidney Schiller. So again, the Golden Eagles with a two-point lead, 13 to 11, and CC Madison to serve. From the left corner, little punch serve right at Katie Crow. Sydney Borsch with the kill. And it's 13 to 12. Maddie Nell off the bench to serve for Purdue Fort Wayne. Look at the replay there. You always want good play from your middles. Madison comes right back. Fourteen twelve. Oral Roberts. Taylor Nero to serve. At Schiller. Now Worcester defensive return. Madison with the dig. Short set by Lawson. And a left-handed swing by Greenlee successful. 15-12, all Roberts on top. Play to 25, win by two. Now for Worcester over a double block and it's dug out by Lawson. Wow! Worcester out dueling Schuchman at the net, taking advantage of her six foot three inches of height and a long left arm. 15-13. Borst. Lawson with the dig. Left side for Inkret, just inside the line. Inka Inkret. Picks up the point for ORU. They're up back up by three, 16 to 13. Laura Schutman to serve. Ed Schiller. Borscht off the touch. I'm sorry, yes, yeah, Sydney Borscht. And she will serve now. Purdue Fort Wayne trailing to set 16 to 14. Sydney Borscht, a junior out of Sylvania, Ohio. Serving it right. Nice block by Worcester. Maddie Nell will go back to Worcester on the right side with a right hand. The southpaw normally comes up with another kill. And it brings the Dons to within a point. They trail this set 16 to 15. Sydney Borst, as is her custom, serving from the left corner. Right at CC Madison. 
Nice dig by Nell. They, oh, wow, violation going to be caught, I believe, on Greenlee. Hand over the net. And we are tied at 16 here in the opening set. Sydney Borst again with the serve. Going at Madison. Nice block. Worcester. Off the touch. And Purdue Fort Wayne on top, 17-16. As the Macedons have won three points in a row. Lawson. Nice block off a swing by Inkred. Schuchman now with a dig. Borch with a fist keeps the play alive. Schiller defensive return. Free ball chance. ORU. Inkred, yes. Inkred hit it off the arm, I believe, of Sidney Borst. So it's ORU 17, Purdue Fort Wayne 17. Inca Inkret serving for ORU. Right at Katie Crow. Worcester? Yes, off the touch. 18 17 Mastodons. This has been an entertaining first set. Maddie Gates to serve with the one point advantage. Lawson keeping it on the right for Greenlee. And we're all knotted at 18. Tease in the libero with the serve. Gate, short set for Huvels, and Zandra comes through. Mastodons 19, Golden Eagles 18. Katie Crow serving. For Purdue Fort Wayne, Madison left side, dink shot. And the whistle blows to stop playing. It'll be point Purdue Fort Wayne. Now a two-point lead at 20 to 18. And timeout called by Oral Roberts. That is their first of two allotted timeouts that have been called. So Macedon's up 20 to 18. Can you play to 25, win by two? And we'll see what happens coming out of the timeout. These two teams will hook up again on November the 10th in Tulsa. And I believe that will be a Sunday afternoon. Right now, Macedon's with the slight advantage. They are hitting 385 to ORU's 280. Purdue Fort Wayne leading in kills 13 to 9. In assists 26, I'm sorry, 12 to 9. And in digs 12 to 9. They also lead in total blocks 2 to 1. Katie Crow coming out of the timeout to serve for Purdue Fort Wayne. Going right at Inkret. Madison off the touch. On the left side. Two valves and first were there trying for the block, but they were unsuccessful. Again, a one point set. And Sylvia Lawson serving to tie it up for Oral Roberts. And Don's had trouble getting it back over. Easy pickings for ORU, and they have won two points in a row, and we're tied at 20 apiece. Lawson again with the serve. ORU going left to right. Going at Crow. Gates, right side for Liz first on the line, and it is wide right. 
And Steve Florio will call a timeout with his team now trailing the set 21 to 20. Now, Shira Sorola called a timeout when her team was down 20 to 18 and they came back and won three points in a row. So, St Steve Florio hoping that uh, that momentum will go on his side now as his team trails the set 21 to 20. Again, this is the first of a best of five set match. The uh, Summit League leader, by the way, getting into play tonight, the University of South Dakota, the Coyotes have won 13 matches in a row. They are 5-0 and in conference play and 16-1 and overall. And including in that uh, streak is a decisive win over Denver. Pioneers, the preseason favorites to win the league right now, are 2-2 two and two in conference play. Madison comes back for the kill. And ORU has opened up a two-point lead at 22 to 20 as they have won four points in a row. Sylvia Lawson serving again from the right side at Crucis. Gates to her right for first. Dug out by Schutman. Here's Madison, wide right. And Purdue Fort Wayne gets a badly needed point. They trail 22-21, and their freshman libero, Rachel Cruces, will serve. A little air under that serve. Lawson for Schutman. Wide right. We're tied at 22. We played at 25, win by two. Cruces again to serve. And putting air under it. Madison Schupman partially blocked. Kept alive by Thiessen. Gates for Borf off of Lawson. Purdue Fort Wayne 23, Oral Roberts 22. And timeout called by Shira Sorola of Oral Roberts. So both teams have utilized their two allotted timeouts in this set. It's the Mastodons up 23 to 22 and with the serve. Again, and we have talked about this in prior matches. Final year of competition for Purdue Fort Wayne in the Summit League. And they would like to go out and leave a message for the eight other schools in the conference. Oh, are you back on the court? Now here come the Mastodons. Again, Rachel Cruces. 5-2 freshman libero out of Brunswick, Ohio to serve. At CC Madison. Nice dig by Maddie Gates off a swing by Schutman. First, got the break. Hit the tape, hit Madison, hit the floor. And it's set point Purdue Fort Wayne. 24-22, Mastodon fans on their feet. Cruces with the serve, put air under it. Lawson setting up Schutman off of Cruces. Good hustle, great hustle by Katie Crow. They get it back over, here's Madison. Off the touch. 
Schiller, and uh, Borsch tried for the block, but they weren't positioned properly. One set point averted, 24-23, Purdue Fort Wayne, Earl Roberts with the serve. CC Madison tries to go deep. Gates for Borsch, Madison digs it out. Lawson for Inkrit, dug out by Maddie Gates. On the right side, Crow with the dig off a swing by Schutman. Here is Sydney Schiller off the touch. CC Madison digs it out. Short set, and this time jump. Miss hit by Nero. And Purdue Fort Wayne wins the opening set by a score of 25 to 23. Wow, that was a fun set. The two teams will switch ins, and Purdue Fort Wayne will serve first when set number two gets underway in just under three minutes. We'll take a break. Again, opening set in the books. And Purdue Fort Wayne beats all Roberts in set number one by a score of 25 to 23. Let's take a timeout. It's from Arnie Ball Court. This is Purdue Fort Wayne women's volleyball on YouTube. You need an ER, where do you turn? At Lutheran Health Network, we are ER. We are here for you with eight convenient hospital locations throughout the region. We are the only area ER with online check-in. Save your spot in line online. To learn more, visit lutheranhealth.net slash we are ER. Patients are seen in order of severity, therefore your spot may not be guaranteed. In case of a life-threatening emergency, call 911. In its fourth decade, the Summit League continues its ascent through excellence in the classroom and success in the field of play. In cities big and small, at public and private universities, more than 120,000 students across nine institutions reach for the Summit. From academic All-Americans to NCAA champions and nationally ranked teams, Summit League student-athletes achieve the pinnacle of success. The Summit League, where tomorrow's leaders reach the Summit today. Well, welcome back, everybody, to uh, Arnie Ball Court here inside the Hilliard Gate Sports Center on the campus of Purdue Fort Wayne University. I'm Mike Maz, and our first set is in the books, and it goes to the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons by a score of 25 to 23 over All Roberts University, and this was a back and forth set, without a doubt. Purdue Fort Wayne led in kills 16 to 13. They led in assists 15 to 11. They led in digs 17 to 14, and they led in total team blocks two to one. Individually, five kills for Maddie Worcester, three kills apiece from Liz First, Katie Crow, and Sydney Borsch. Zandra Huvels and Sydney Schiller, one kill each. Talk about uh, spreading the wealth. Maddie Nell with six assists. Maddie Gates with five. Four other players, one assist each. One service ace. That was by Katie Crow. Four service errors. And of the 17 digs accrued by Purdue Fort Wayne, five came from the libero. Rachel Crucis. Three each by Maddie Nell, Maddie Gates, and Katie Crow. Three other players, one dig each. No solo blocks four block assist for ORU five kills from CC Madison three from Bree Greenlee two from Laura Schutman one apiece from Sylvia Lawson Inca Inkret and Taylor Nero Lawson had nine of the 11 ORU assists two service aces one by Nero one by Madison one service error and uh, of the 14 uh, Golden Eagle digs seven came from CC Madison four from Sylvia Lawson Mastodons hit 343 in the first set. 16 kills, 35 swings, four attack airs. All Roberts hit 179. 13 kills, 39 swings, and six attack airs. Maddie Gates serving left to right to start the second set. Madison off of Cruz is kept alive by Crow. 
Defensive uh, return, free ball chance. CC Madison on her knees, cruises with the dig. Crow from the left side. And off the touch, it went first off of Inkret towards the seat. Sylvia Lawson tried to keep it alive and she could not. One nothing, Purdue Fort Wayne. Get a look at the replay there. Gates commits a service error. And we're tied at one. Again, we'll play this set to 25, win by two. 1-1, one, one. Sylvia Lawson, the 5'11 redshirt freshman setter from Chaplin, Missouri with the serve. Serving it at the libero crucis. Gates setting up Bliss first. Kept alive. Madison from the left side, Crucis with the dig. Gates for Katie Crow. Kept alive by Inkwit momentarily, but Lawson unable to get to it. Point Purdue Fort Wayne. Mastodons two, Golden Eagles one. Katie Crow, who had a service ace in the first set, set now serving here for the first time in the second. Inkwit receives. Shootman. Blocked by Liz first. 3-1, Purdue Fort Wayne. Katie Crow, who now has 18 service aces, commits a service error. 3-2, Mastodons. CC Madison serving for Oral Roberts. Madison from the left corner. Crucius to receive. Here comes Bluvels. Off a short set from Maddie Gates. 4-2 Purdue Fort Wayne. And Rachel Crucius to serve. Received by Thiessen. Gates. For Sydney Schiller, Thiessen with the dig. Lawson for Madison at the three meter line. Diving for the dig is Maddie Gates. First, dug out in the backcourt by Madison. Schutman, yes! Cross corner shot just out of the reach of Liz First. Laura Schutman with the point for ORU brings him to within one. They trail the second set four to three. Taylor Nero to serve, back middle baseline. Schiller receives, Gates setting up first over a double block, Lawson will dig it out. Tough angle for Schubman, and she hit the antenna. And when you hit the antenna, the point goes to the other team, which makes it a 5-3 Purdue Fort Wayne lead here in the second set. Maddie Nell off the bench to serve. Again, a 5'9 freshman from Haskins, Ohio. Short set by Lawson, setting up Bree Greenlee for the kill. Greenlee now with four kills on the night. 5-4, the lead cut to one. And Laura Schutman serving for ORU. Serving at Katie Crow. Off the touch. Sydney Borsch having a fine match this far. Six four, Purdue Fort Wayne. Sydney Schiller, the freshman, to serve. Lawson and slipping and falling was Greenlee. Let's see if they get some perspiration cleaned up on the ORU side of the court. In some ways, a gift point for Purdue Fort Wayne. They now lead the set seven to four. Sydney Schiller, six foot freshman from Battle Creek, Michigan, serving from the left corner, just over the net. Madison receives. Little dink shot by Jesslyn Spencer in the match for the first time, no good. Greenlee off the touch, point ORU. Oh, 
They trail Purdue Fort Wayne now seven to five here in the second set. Inca Inkrit the serve. Creases the net and glances off of Schiller. That'll be a service ace. And it's seven to six. A deeper serve. Now keeps it on the right side for Maddie Worcester. Dug out by Schutman. Lawson setting up Madison over a double block going down the line. And blasting it past Maddie now. We're tied at seven as Oral Roberts has scored three points in a row. Inca Inkrit again to serve, serving it. Here comes Katie Crow, blocked. Now goes to the right side for Worcester. Just long. And the Golden Eagles have taken an eight to seven lead as they are on a 4-0 run. Inka Inkrit, they got a 5'11 sophomore out of uh, Croatia. Madison, did she go over the net? Oh, th oh they're going to say Purdue Fort Wayne went over the net, and Steve Florio wants a timeout. Timeout called by Purdue Fort Wayne as uh, they have seen Oral Roberts rip off five points in a row changing a three-point deficit into a two-point lead both of these teams will be on the road on Sunday Oral well, Roberts will make the six and a half hour bus ride over to Macomb Illinois to take on the Leathernecks from Western Illinois University and tomorrow morning, the Macedons will head to the airport and get on an airplane and head to Omaha, Nebraska, where they will take on the Nebraska-Omaha Mavericks on Sunday afternoon. And that match is uh, scheduled to start at 2 o'clock Fort Wayne time. Other matches on Sunday. North Dakota will be at South Dakota State. Denver will be at North Dakota State. There were two other matches scheduled for the Summit League tonight. One of them has been postponed due to inclement weather in North Dakota. Denver was supposed to play uh, North Dakota, but that has been postponed with no makeup date set for that. Back to the action here. Inca Inkret serving out of a Purdue Fort Wayne timeout. Maddie Worcester, oh, one-hand dig by Laura Schutman. Madison over a double block. That got by Maddie Nell. Worcester, the left-hander, wide right. The attack air will give Oral Roberts a 10-7 lead, and they now have won six points in a row. Ingrid serving right to left. Katie Crow dug out in the backcourt by Inkret. Here's CC Madison. Schiller with the dig. Forced off the touch, finally, off of Lawson, and it hit the net before Greenlee could get to it. Point Purdue Fort Wayne snapping a six point Oral Roberts run. Sydney Bohr serving 10 8 ORU. Lawson setting up Greenlee. Jasso at the net. Lawson will go to Madison at, inside the three meter line. Off the touch. CC Madison makes it 11 to eight in favor of Oral Roberts. Sarah Thiessen, the reigning defensive player of the week in the Summit League with the serve. And uh, near collision between Huvels and Crow. Easy point for the Golden Eagles now upping their lead to four at 12 to eight. And now we're gonna get some uh, perspiration mapped up on the Purdue Fort Wayne side of the court. Now we're ready to go. 
Maddie now on the right side. Huvels, I got Madison. Block. Huvels, Maddie Worcester. 12-9. ORU's lead cut to three. Maddie Gates to serve for Purdue Fort Wayne. Inkra receives. Huvels with a dig. Here comes Crow. Oh, nice dig in the backcourt by Inka. Inkra! But Macedon's have come up with the point. Two in a row, and now they trail by just two, 12 to 10. Again, Maddie Gates. 5'9 sophomore out of Grand Rapids, Michigan with the serve. Inkrit receives. Here comes Madison. Nice dig by Schiller, but this wall goes wide right over the net. That'll be an ORU point. The lead back up to three for the visitors, 13 to 10. Sylvia Lawson there, set her to serve. At Katie Crow. Crow gets it back. Oh, nice play by Thiessen, keeping the ball alive. Defensive return, ORU, free ball chance, Purdue Fort Wayne. Katie Crow, off of Lawson, ricochets back, and Nero gets it across the net. Borsch, Thiessen on her knees with the dig. Somehow, ORU gets it back across the net. Crow again. Schutman digs it out. Madison over a double block in the backcourt. Schiller digs it. Here is Liz first. Dug out by Inkrit, longest rally of the match. Madison from beyond the three meter line. Huvels finally off the arm of Thiessen, point Purdue Fort Wayne. What a rally. 13-11, ORU by two. Katie Crow for Purdue Fort Wayne with the serve. Knuckleball serve, Inkrit will receive. Madison on the right side, Cruz has got a body on it. Huvel's defensive return, free ball chance, Golden Eagles. It is. Wide left, Schutman. Point Mastodons, and it's 13 to 12. The deficit just won. Katie Crow, the junior from Leo, again to serve. Inkrit receives, here comes Schutman over a double block. Dug out by Crow. Short set for Huvels. Off the touch, off of Sylvia Lawson. And the Dons have come back to tie the set 13 all and timeout called by Oral Roberts. The beauty of rally point scoring. You had the Macedons up earlier in this set, seven to four only to see ORU rip off six points in a row. And then the Golden Eagles would go up by four at 12 to eight. They were up 13 to 10. And Purdue Fort Wayne comes back and gets three points in succession. So right now this second set knotted at 13 points apiece. Again, this is set two of our best of five match. Purdue Fort Wayne won the opening set 25 to 23. The Mastodons trying to snap a nine match losing streak against Oral Roberts. And this uh, series began on September the 8th, 2006 in Orem, Utah of all places. And uh, ORU won the first four, six of the first seven. Then the Macedons had some success. And ORU has won the last nine in a row. Schupman dug out by Maddie Gates. And he shoot her with the kill. 14-13, Purdue Fort Wayne. As now the Macedons are on a 4-0 run. Katie Crow looking at her head coach, Steve Florio, where to serve it. Short toss. 
Lawson for Schutman inside the three meter line. Crow with a dig in the backcourt. Maddie Gates for Crow. Off the touch. Last off CC Madison. 15-13 Purdue Fort Wayne. Katie Crow again serving left to right. Serving it at Madison. Gets it back. And finally, CC Madison ripped it through a double block. She will serve now, trying to tie the second set at 15 apiece. And CC Madison is a 5'10 senior from Midlothian, Texas. Leads the team in kills. Maddie Gates goes to the right for Liz first. Put it between Madison and the libero, Sarah Thiessen. 16-14, Purdue Fort Wayne. Rachel Crucis, the freshman libero to serve. Putting air under it. Lawson, left side for Spencer. Dug out, here's Crow. Thiessen in the backcourt with the dig. Crucis with the dig somehow, but not quite far enough. Point Oral Roberts. They trail 16 to 15. Jesslyn Spencer, a 5'8 freshman from Hawaii with the serve. Just over the net, Crow will receive. Borscht, one hand dig by Spencer, but not good enough. And the Macedons go back up by two. It's now 17 to 15. Maddie Nell off the bench, replacing Maddie Gates as the setter. Now we're ready to, get, well, momentary delay is, oh, are you asked for a towel, CC Madison, wiping up some perspiration on the ORU side of the court. Maddie Nell, second in assist on the team, starting the night with 203. Deep serve. Madison has to keep it alive. Defensive return by Greenlee. Almost collided with Spencer. That'll be a Mastodon point. And the lead is three at 18-15. Again, Maddie now to serve for Purdue Fort Wayne. Oh, and knuckleball type of serve. Lawson trying to uh, set up Greenlee. Bree Greenlee will get the kill. 18-16. Laura Schutman, again a 6'2 freshman out of Salem, Wisconsin, will serve momentarily. Perspiration cleaned up with a towel on the Purdue Fort Wayne side of the court. Now we're ready to go. Shootman bounces the ball like a basketball free throw shooter. Now short toss. Schiller receives. Now for Worcester. And that will be an attack error on Purdue Fort Wayne. This little lead cut to one. It's 18-17. Shootman again to serve. At KD Crow, now to run a long way. Worcester, wow, Maddie Worcester just pounded it cross court past Thiessen. 1917 Mastodons. Sydney Schiller serving from the back left corner. Going at CC Madison. Greenlee kept alive. Crow tries to go deep. Shootman with the dig. A nice block by Crow off a swing by Lawson. Inquit dug out by Crucis in the backcourt. Crow, dink shot, yes! Point Purdue Fort Wayne. And it's 20 to 17, Mastodons.
And Shira Soroli finally gets the attention of the officials requesting a timeout. So a timeout is called here with the score of Purdue Fort Wayne 20, Oral Roberts 17 here in the second set. And try to get some updated stats here. For some reason, the computer is not cooperating tonight. Get you someone when they become available. You get a look at a replay. With Sandra Huvel, the senior from Rhineland, Germany, coming up with the kill. Sydney Schiller will serve out of the Oral Roberts timeout. Purdue Fort Wayne 20, Oral Roberts 17 here in the second set. Lawson setting up Schutman. Nice dig in the backcourt by Schiller. Lawson goes left side for Inkret off the touch. Inca Inkret with a big kill. And it's 20 to 18. Inkret will serve for Oral Roberts. Maddie now setting up Maddie Worcester. Point Purdue Fort Wayne, it's 21-18. Sydney Borst to serve from the left corner for the Mastodons. Lawson, a mistimed set for Greenlee. A lift called on Sylvia Lawson. And all of a sudden, Purdue Fort Wayne up by four, 22-18. Off the touch, Katie Crow get credit for the kill. A five point Purdue Fort Wayne lead there. Two points away from taking a two set to none lead. 23-18. Borscht again from the left corner. Creases it, Thiessen receives it. Madison throws it up. Hootman goes deep, dug out by Crow. Crushed back by Crow Crow with the swing there. Madison, three meter line. Borscht to the dig. Schiller setting at Crow left side. Block. Jasso at the net. And it goes to Sandra Huvels. Set point. Mastodons. Twenty-four eighteen. Almost an overpass and Crow out goes. I believe it was Greenlee. And the second set is over, and it goes to the home team, Purdue Fort Wayne, by a score of 25 to 18. So Purdue Fort Wayne has taken a two set to none lead in this best of five match. Now there's the five minute uh, volleyball version of halftime, the five minute break between sets two and three. And we'll see what adjustments these two teams and these two head coaches will make. Mastodons in the driver's seat, leading this match two sets to none. We will take a break, come back and give you some numbers to play with. Arnie from Arnie Ball Court, this is Purdue Fort Wayne Women's Volleyball on YouTube. Empower your future at Purdue University Fort Wayne. Seize opportunity with small classes, top faculty, and a degree that moves you forward. 
Experience everything and become anything with an education as unique as you are. Explore our degree programs and learn more about important application information by visiting pfw.edu slash future. We are Purdue University, Fort Wayne, and this is an education with purpose. Did you know that 8 out of 10 Americans feel re-gifting is acceptable? This means there's only a 20% chance someone will actually keep your holiday gift. At least that's what they'll make you believe. The perfect way to prevent re-gifting this holiday season is to give the people on your list a wash book from Mike's Car Wash. A wash book from Mike's is the practical, affordable way to spread holiday cheer. Because everyone washes their car, right? Mike's is a proud sponsor of the Mastodons. In its fourth decade, the Summit League continues its ascent through excellence in the classroom and success in the field of play. In cities big and small, at public and private universities, more than 120,000 students across nine institutions reach for the Summit. From academic All-Americans to NCAA champions and nationally ranked teams, Summit League student-athletes achieve the pinnacle of success. The Summit League, where tomorrow's leaders reach the Summit today. Welcome back, everybody, to Arnie Ball Court here inside the Hilliard Gate Sports Center on the campus of Purdue Fort Wayne University. I'm Mike Myers, and right now, Purdue Fort Wayne enjoying a two set to none lead over the visiting Golden Eagles from Oral Roberts University. Macedon's won the first set 25 23, they won the second set 25 to 18. Here are the numbers after two sets of play. Purdue Fort Wayne leads in kills 32 to 23. They lead in assists 31 to 20. And they lead in digs 40 to 32. They also lead in total team blocks 6 to 1. Individually, Katie Crow with 8 kills. Maddie Worcester with 7. Sydney Borst 6. Zandra Huvels 5. 4 kills for Liz first. And 2 kills for Sydney Schiller. Maddie Gates and Maddie Nell each have 12 assists from the center position. Macedon's have two service aces, one by Maddie Nell, one by Katie Crow. They've committed six service errors, and of their 40 digs, 10 coming from their freshman libero, Rachel Crucis, eight from Katie Crow, seven from Sydney Schiller, five from Maddie Gates, three from Sydney Borst, should say four from Maddie now, and uh, one apiece from Liz First, Zandra Huvels, and uh, Sid, um, Maddie Worcester. One solo block that's credited to Katie Crow. Ten block assist for Oral Roberts. Nine kills from CC Madison, the reigning offensive player of the week. Six kills from Bree Greenlee. Three kills credited to Laura Schutman. Two each for Inka Ingret and Taylor Nero. And one kill from Sylvia Lawson. Lawson has 18 assists. Four service aces, one each by Inka Ingret, Taylor Nero, Sarah Thiessen, and CC Madison. Just one service error. And of the Golden Eagles, 32 digs. Eight coming from CC Madison. Eight coming from Inka Ingret. Seven from Laura Schutman, five from Sylvia Lawson, three from Sarah Tees and Lee Libero, and one from Bree Greenlee. They have no uh, block assist, uh, no solo blocks and two block assists. In the first set, Purdue Fort Wayne hit 343. In the second set, they hit 300. A composite 320. Sarah Thiessen will serve from left to right to start the third set of play, and here we go. Katie Crow, Schutman with the dig. Lawson tries to attack. Schiller in the backcourt with the dig. CC Madison from the left side. Schiller in the backcourt digs it out. Liz first. 
Off the arm of Inca Inquit, 1 0 Purdue Fort Wayne. Macedonia won the first point now in each of the three sets that have been played. Katie Crow will serve for Purdue Fort Wayne. Again, Macedonia's going right to left in this third set. Lawson, a short set for. Sakura Lacour, a six-foot freshman out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, inserted into the lineup by head coach Shira Sorola. Lawson will serve at 1-1. Long run for Maddie Gates. Defensive return by first into the backcourt. Inkert will dig it out. Crucis with the dig off a swing by Lacour. Schiller off the touch from the left side. The freshman from Battle Creek, Michigan makes it two to one in favor of Purdue Fort Wayne. The freshman libero, Rachel Cruz is to serve. Boy, arching serve. Lawson to the right for CC Madison. Dug out by Gates. Cruz will set up Schiller over a double block. Denied by Lawson. Thiessen plays the role of center for Madison and is blocked. Schiller and Borscht combined. 3-1 Mastodons. Crucis again with a short serve. Schutman off the touch. From the left side, Laura Schutman picking up her fourth kill of the night. Brings the Golden Eagles to within one. They trail this third set three to two. CC Madison to serve. The senior out of Midlothian, Texas. Gates for Bors. Blocked. And we're tied at three. Madison again serving from the left corner. receives it. Schiller blocked. A block attempt goes wide left. So Purdue Fort Wayne has taken a 4-3 lead. And off the bench to serve is Maddie Nell. Lawson for Schutman. Dug out by Crow. Now for Crow at the three meter line, and that was blocked initially by LaCour. But Purdue Fort Wayne comes away with the point to take a five to three lead. The block sails wide. Lawson for Schutman off the arm of Nell, point ORU. 5-4, the Purdue Fort Wayne lead cut to one. And Sakira LaCour with the serve. Did not play in the first two sets, now playing here in the third. And she commits a service error. So Purdue Fort Wayne back up by two at six to four. Sydney Schiller will serve. Serving it at C.C. Madison. Ingrid, oh, nice dig by now. Worcester? Yeah. Or is it wide? No, it is in. Had to wait for the call from Eric Blumon, our up official. New Fort Wayne with a 7-4 lead here in the third set. Schiller again serving. Thiessen receives. Greenlee dug out by Worcester. Katie Crow, a dink shot. Off the arm of Inca Inkret. Mastodons eight, Golden Eagles four. Set number three. That's Purdue Fort Wayne has won three points in a row. Lawson to the right for Schutman. Now, got a partial dig, but it dipped to the floor before Sydney Boers could get to it. Purdue Fort Wayne eight, Oral Roberts five. Laura Schutman, 6'2", freshman out of Salem, Wisconsin. 
with the serve. Serving it at Katie Crow. Maddie Nell goes to the right for Worcester. And it's long. Two Golden Eagle points in a row. And they've uh, sliced the deficit in half. It was eight to four, now it's eight to six. Shootman again with a walk-up serve. Now for Borsch, off the arm of Thiessen. 9-6 Mastodons. And Sidney Borsch to serve. Six foot junior out of Sylvania, Ohio, serving from the left corner. Serving it at CC Madison. Greenlee with a little touch shot in the front of the net. Bree Greenlee with the kill. And it's nine to seven. Inca Inkret. Out of Croatia. Serving at Rachel Crucis. Katie Crow off a of Shootman into the crowd. 10-7 Mastodons. And they would like to end this match in three sets if they can. Maddie Gates off the bench to serve. Left side for Madison. And Liz first says, not in my house tonight. With the block. Eleven seven home team. Gates again with the serve. Madison off the touch. Somehow kept alive first by Crucis. And how oh, they couldn't quite they hit the top of the one of the uh, pieces of the support system and dropped back down, but almost a tremendous return. So it's Purdue Fort Wayne 11, Oral Roberts 8. And wide left. And it's 12-8. Katie Crow serving for the home team, the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons. Madison has to play the role of setter for Schutman. Dug out by Crow in the backcourt. Sandra Huvels. Ingrid digs it out. Touch shot by LaCour. Liz first denied. Madison over a double block. Gobbles up off of Maddie Gates. Point Oral Roberts. So it is Purdue Fort Wayne 12, Oral Roberts 9. Sylvia Lawson to serve. Somehow Katie Crow with a one-hand swing gets it across. Is Madison long? Steve Florio talking with Dave Sines. And Dave now talking with uh, the Moral Roberts assistant coach. 13-9, Purdue Fort Wayne on top. Rachel Cruz is serving for the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons. Here comes Madison, a little dink shot. That got by first. Borscht off of Thiessen. Point Purdue Fort Wayne. And it is 14-9. And timeout called by Oral Roberts. Shira Sorola trying to stop the Mastodon uh, momentum, if you will. As we get a look at uh, the Mastodon bench. Dave Florio in his sixth year as the head coach. Steve actually came to Fort Wayne in 2003 as an assistant to 
then head coach, now athletic director Kelly Hartley Hutton, promoted to an associate head coach in 2007 and became the head coach in 2014. Won six of his first seven matches. I remember it well. And uh, then the team ran into a bit of a buzzsaw. Finished 13 and 20 in 2014. Went through some rough spots. Last year they, uh, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, last year they were 18 and 14. And a win tonight will get them over the 500 mark at 10 and 9. Get a look at some of the fans uh, in attendance tonight. Teams back on the court. Rachel Cruces gets the whistle from Eric Blumon, our up official. And there's the line drive serve. Madison, oh, this time jump. Top set by Sylvia Lawson. 15 to 9 Mastodons. As they have won three points in a row. Six of the last eight. Lawson in the middle for LaCourt. Dug out. Maddie Gates left side for Schiller. Teason with the dig for ORU. Shootman off the block. Point ORU. Makes her score 15 to 10. Purdue Fort Wayne here in the third set. CC Madison to serve. For Oral Roberts. Crow with the receive. Gates throws it up right side for Liz first and a miss hit. Makes it 15 to 11. As uh, Oral Roberts has come back with two points in a row. Madison again serving from the left side at Katie Crow. Maddie Gates right side for first off the touch. Liz First did not play in the two matches in North Dakota last week. She is in the lineup tonight. And she gets the point there. It's 16 to 11. Maddie Nell off the bench to serve. Freshman setter. Line drive serve right at Inkrit. Thiessen will play the role of setter for Inkrit. Dug out by Crucis. Nell throws it up for Schiller. What a double block. Point. Fitting for a wing. 17 to 11. Mastodon's on top. Big swing. Right through a pair of Golden Eagles. Service error, unfortunately, by Nell. We'll make our score. Mastodon 17, Golden Eagles 12. Sakira LaCour to serve. And she commits a service error. 18-12, Purdue Fort Wayne. Sydney Schiller to serve. Right at Inkrit. Thiessen will try to set up Inkrit left side. Dug out in the backcourt by Schiller. Worcester. Thiessen with the dig. Greenlee dink shot. Worcester a one-hand dig. Here's Katie Crow. Cross corner shot is good, and the fans are loving it here at Arnie Ball Court. 19-12, Mastodon's on top. Or Roberts calls their second and final allotted timeout of the set. Wow. When you get the breaks, the game can be fun. New Fort Wayne, six points away from a somewhat improbable straight set win. And again, it would snap a nine-match losing streak against ORU. The state's back. That was on October 4th, 2015, that that streak began out in Tulsa. Macedon's playing with confidence, no doubt about it. Sydney Borst, Maddie Worcester, Katie Crow, Richard Crucis, Maddie Nell, Sydney Schiller on the floor for Purdue Fort Wayne. ORU comes out with Greenlee. 
Schutman, Madison, Inkred, Lawson, and Tisa Libero. Sydney Schiller, the freshman from Battle Creek, Michigan, to serve from the left corner. Short toss, line drive serve. Lawson will go to the right for Schutman. Off the arm of Maddie Nell, point Oral Roberts. That's a point the Golden Eagles badly needed. Now they're down by six, 19 to 13. And Laura Schutman to serve. Schutman again, a 6'2 freshman from Watosha Central High School in Salem, Wisconsin. Maddie Nell goes to the right for Worcester through a double block. Schutman's dig goes wide right. 20 to 13, Purdue Fort Wayne. Sydney Borst to serve. Coming in is Callie Cadell, a 5'5 junior from Marion, Texas, for ORU. Lawson in the middle for Greenlee. Off the arms of a diving Sydney Borst. Golden Eagles not going away without a fight. They trail 20 to 14 here in the third set. They trail the match two sets to none. Inca Inkret to serve. Throw the receive. Gets it back from Maddie now. Is it touched or is it not? Yes, it is. Point Purdue Fort Wayne, and it's 21 14. Maddie Gates off the bench to serve. Looks at that ball glanced off of Greenlee. Just over the net. Sylvia Lawson setting up Greenlee. Diving dig by Crucis. Crow off the touch. Point Purdue for Wayne. 22 14. Three points away. Eighth short toss. Lawson for Madison. One hand dig at the mat. It's on the Purdue Fort Wayne side. Liz first. Dug out in the backcourt. Here's CC Madison. Off of Crucis. Off of Gates. But Greenlee punches it home. Literally. Bria Greenlee punched it with her left fist for the kill. And it's 22 15. Tisa to serve for Oral Roberts. Gates will set up Liz first. Long. Two ORU points in a row. It's 22 16. Sarah Thiessen, again to serve, at Katie Crow. Maddie Gates, back to Crow. Oh, fortunate break, hit the net, hit a finger, hit the court. Point Purdue for Wayne. 23-16, Crow to serve. Almost a collision between Inkret and Madison. CC Cruz has somehow got a dig. Madison came back. Cruvels tried to block it and it went wide right. Where did Rachel Cruz has come from to get the dig that time? 23-17. Pretty Fort Wayne on top. Sylvia Lawson serving for Oral Roberts. At KD Crow. Gates. Oh, Tough uh, angle for Sch Schiller, and it's 23-18. Lawson again to serve left to right. Crucius to receive, Gates setting up first. Teason got a fist on it. Madison cut shot, dug out by Schiller. Liz first, nice dig by Lawson. Schiller puts it down! And it is match point, Purdue Fort Wayne. In fact, six match points. 24-18. Macedon fans on their feet. Rachel Crucius, the freshman libero with the serve. Lollipop serve at Madison. Lawson back to Madison. Dug out by Gates. 
Cruces setting up Schiller inside the three meter line off the touch. Lawson with the dig. Thiessen goes to her left. Schutman, yes. Put it between Crow and Cruces. One match point averted. 24-19. Purdue Fort Wayne. CC Madison, who served to begin the match. Now serving to keep the match going for all Roberts. Crow receives. Gates for Borst. Strike out by Lawson with help from Thiessen. Defensive return. ORU. Somehow Schiller keeps it alive. Another defensive return. Free ball chance. Golden Eagles. Schutman kept alive by Cruces. Here's Schiller. Kept alive by Thiessen. Inkret. Dug out by Cruces. Attacking it is Maddie Gates, and this match is over. Gates, the setter, became Gates, the attacker. And Purdue Fort Wayne has snapped a nine-match losing streak against Oral Roberts, beating the Golden Eagles tonight in straight sets. They win this third set 25-19. They win the match 25-23, 25-18, 25-19. and one in Summit League play. They improved to 10 and 9 overall. And for ORU, they fall to 2 and 3 in conference play and 6 and 13 overall. And the all time series now stands 17 wins for Oral Roberts, 8 wins for Purdue Fort Wayne. Wow, what a match tonight! The only home match in the month of October for the Mastodons who have now won seven of their last eight. They go back on the road starting Sunday. They'll be in Omaha, Nebraska to play the Mavericks on Sunday. Next weekend on Friday, they're at South Dakota State. A week from Sunday, they're at South Dakota. Then they play at Western Illinois on Tuesday the 22nd. And then they have a rematch with the Denver Pioneers on the 25th. And uh, before they come back, to play North Dakota State three weeks from tonight. And joining us is head coach Steve Florio. What a performance tonight. Yeah, uh, really that's how we've been playing the last three or four weeks. Yeah. You've seen it. You saw it when we played Denver and, and Western Illinois. We've playing really good team volleyball and getting a lot of uh, results out of a lot of our players. Many players. And it was back and forth early. ORU had a 7-4 to four lead in the first set. And then you came back slowly but surely. Give them credit. They didn't give up. But as you say, everybody cooperated and helped out tonight in the win. Yeah, we got a lot of results out of players doing their secondary jobs. So uh, we talked about the fact that we were getting digs out of our setters, digs out of our right sides making off blocker moves. Um, while their primary jobs is to, to hit and kill, uh, to have them play defense or make good second touches on the ball, that's what really made the difference in this very, in my opinion, very close match. Please talk about your freshman libero, Rachel Cruces. 18 digs tonight, and some of them were just, where in the world did she come from to keep the play alive? Um, she's got great reactions. She she reads the game really, really well, and she's really, really confident. And you can't play like that if you're not confident, and she definitely believes in herself and, and uh, puts that out on the floor. You couldn't ask for a much better start, Steve, in conference play now 4-1, that little hiccup in Fargo last week. But 4-1, and, and I know you're going to savor this home win tonight because you go back on the road, you head to Omaha tomorrow, you got the Mavericks on Sunday. You're in South Dakota next week for two. Then Western Illinois and then Denver. Yep. The beat goes on, but your team is playing with so much confidence right now. Yeah, that's been something we've been working on. And uh, nobody's going to win this league if they don't believe in themselves, right? This is a really tough league. So we've been working on building our confidence and 
having confidence in each other, you know, playing as a team, you, you know, you got to trust your teammates to do their jobs. So you have to build your teammates' confidence in you. And so that's been a lot of what we've been working on as, as far as our team culture goes. And again, the seventh man came into play. A nice crowd here tonight. And almost all of them, not all, but most of them fans of the Mastodons. And yep. I know you and the team really enjoy it when you get that added boost from the crowd. Yeah, they really lift us up. This is an exciting environment to watch volleyball and play volleyball. And I really appreciate all the fans that get loud for us and I, I definitely think of him as a seventh fan just as you said well congratulations on the win tonight safe travels to Omaha tomorrow good luck in the next five matches around the road but the way this team is playing we'll see you three weeks from tonight and I think yep. we have a nice big crowd for North Dakota State but good luck for the rest of the month of October as you play on the road thanks Mike head coach Steve Florio and uh, his thoughts here on this match, again, one in straight sets by Purdue Fort Wayne over Oral Roberts. 25-23, 25-18, 25-19. Oh, and uh, <laughs> let's take a look at the final numbers here. As uh, you get a look again at the upcoming schedule, five more matches on the road. Starting Sunday at Nebraska, Omaha, then next Friday night at South Dakota State, a week from Sunday at South Dakota. Coyotes again. They are uh, really playing well, unbeaten in conference play. And um, they are 5-0 in the league and 16-1 and overall. That'll be a tough match on the 20th in uh, Vermillion at Western Illinois on the 22nd. And again, the rematch at Denver. Pioneers are going to be thinking about what happened earlier this year when they were here. But then after that... With the exception of the rematch with Oral Roberts on November the 10th, the rest of the conference season, matches will be played right here at Ernie Ball Court. So Steve Florio and the staff and the team, boy, they, they're setting things up very well for a run at um, nah, making uh, the Summit League postseason tournament. And who knows what can happen once the teams get out to Denver in uh, late November. A look at the final numbers again in this three-set match. Purdue Fort Wayne led in kills tonight, 50 to 36. They led in assist, 48 to 31. They led in dig, 62 to 44. They led in total team blocks, 7 to 1. Individually, Katie Crow, another double double with 15 kills and 10 digs, and that is her ninth double double of the year and the 28th of her career. Uh, she was the only player on either team in double figures in kills. Nine kills for Maddie Worcester. Eight kills from Sydney Borscht, who hit 400 tonight, by the way, with those eight kills. Six kills from the freshman Sydney Schiller. Six kills from Lids First. Five kills coming from uh, the senior from Germany, Zandra Huvels. And uh, that left one kill for the setter, Maddie Gates. Maddie Gates had 19 assists. Maddie now off the bench had 20. Two service aces, one by Maddie now, one by Katie Crow. And Katie Crow now has a team leading 23 service aces on the year. Uh, there were seven uh, service errors of the 62 Mastodon digs. 18 came from that 5-1 freshman, Rachel Crucis. 11 from Sydney Schiller, 10 from Katie Crow, 9 from Maddie Gates, 5 from Maddie Nell, 3 apiece from Sydney Borst and Maddie Worcester, 2 credited to Liz first, and 1 from Sandra Huvels. Katie Crow had the only solo block of the night for Purdue Fort Wayne, a 12 block assist.